Before Michael was the king of pop, he was a member of the Jackson 5, but even during those days, he had a solo career. From 1972 to 1975, Michael released four solo albums under Motown's record label such as Got To Be There and Ben which both released in 1972, Music, and Me which released in 1973, and Forever Michael, which released back in 1975. They were nothing like Michael's adult solo albums, because he had no creative freedom with them. Other people wrote and produced the songs for him. All he ever did was record the vocals, but that's what gave the songs their charm. Despite the albums being extremely underrated, they still count as studio albums under Michael's name. Today, I'd like to talk about a solo album Michael recorded at the time, that never saw the light of day, or at least it partially did. Stick around, you are watching Seven's History Corner. On April 13, 1973, Motown released Michael's third studio album, Music and Me. But since Michael was on tour with his brothers at the time, there wasn't much promotion for the album which didn't help the album sales wise. So to make up for the loss of sales music and me failed to gain, Motown had Michael start recording a brand new album for the next year. From January to October 1973, Michael started to record 13 new tracks for the new album, Don't Let It Get You Down, You've Really Got A Hold On Me. Melody, touch the one you love, girl you're so together, farewell my summer love, call on me, here I am, come and take me, to make my father proud, I'll come home to you, what you don't know, if I don't love you this way, and make tonight all mine. Make tonight all mine hasn't been exactly confirmed to be a part of this unreleased album, but since it was a solo song recorded in 1973, it's most likely possible that it was recorded for the album. Also, You've Really Got a Hold On Me had an early recording version done by the Jackson 5, as an outtake in 1969 for Diana Ross Presents the Jackson 5. The acetate for the album was finished on November 8, 1973. However, following the success of the Jackson 5's Dancing Machine album in 1974, Michael's album was shelved in fear of competing with the success of Dancing Machine. What You Don't Know and If I Don't Love You This Way was released on the Dancing Machine album, but I'll Come Home To You was later released on Michael's 1975 album, Forever, Michael, which is the last solo album Michael did with Motown. Michael confirmed What You Don't Know and If You Don't Love Me This Way's involvement with the 1974 album in an interview with Don Cornelius. Make Tonight All Mine was reworked and released in 1976 on the Jackson 5's Boogie album. But then, what happened to the rest of the album's tracks? Fast forward to 1984, due to the success of Michael's 1982 thriller album with Epic Records, Motown wanted to capitalize off that success by releasing a bunch of compilation albums featuring songs from Michael's Motown solo career along with some Jackson 5 songs, compilations such as 18 Greatest Hits that released in 1983. Somehow, Motown found the rest of the shelved 1974 album in their vaults, so they called in some musicians such as Tony Peluso, Michael Lovesmith, Steve Barron, along with drummer Mike Baird to remix the songs to sound more modern for its time. They released the rest of the album as a compilation album and named it after one of the album's tracks, Farewell My Summer Love. As for the original 1973 versions of the tracks, the original versions for Call On Me, Melody, Don't Let It Get You Down, To Make My Father Proud were released on the anthology album that released in 1986. The original 1973 version of Make Tonight All Mine was also featured on the anthology album as well, and then all of the original versions of the tracks except Make Tonight All Mine along with their 1984 remixes were re-released on the Hello World Motown solo collection that was posthumously released in 2009. It featured his entire Motown solo discography. Fast forward to April 2021, side 2 of the unreleased acetate for the shelved 1974 album was put up for auction. It featured the tracks, Farewell My Summer Love, You've Really Got A Hold Of Me, Melody, I'll Come Home To You, and Girl You're So Together. It's possible that the version of I'll Come Home To You on this version of the album is a different version of the Forever Michael album version due to its shorter time length, possibly an early mix or demo. The person who was selling this LP claims he doesn't have side one. So as of right now, that remains lost. 
I can't find the seller or person who bought the album, but if I do, I'll try my best to contact the seller and ask questions on how he or she got a hold of it and ask the buyer if he could rip the album so we can all hear the songs in their original mastered quality. Anyways, despite Farewell My Summer Love not being one of his most noticed albums, it has a very interesting backstory, and I hope this video can give the album a lot more attention and love than it deserves. I don't have much else to say, but I have some new videos coming that have some very interesting topics, so please stay tuned for Seven's History Corner. Like and subscribe if you'd like, and see you all next time.